Hello, brothers and sisters. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. You are welcome to today's to uh, Bible studies. The fifth day in the month of May 2021. Today's Bible studies, we are going to learn from or learn why we should share our faith. Let us pray. My Lord, my God, we bless you this hour, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy Lord, Father, for you are the Lord that give us the strength, the ability, and the power to do this thing that we are doing now, Lord. Jesus, have your way, Father, in the mind of Jesus. Walk with all this afternoon, Lord. I call upon you to take charge of this auditorium right now. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, I don't have words of my own, Lord. Come and speak through me in the name of Jesus. I bind every territorial spirit and take authority over every plan of the enemy against us, Father Lord Jesus. Let them be destroyed and be frustrated in the mind of Jesus. Every arrow that the enemy wants to send to us right now, Jesus, by your power and authority, we return it back to sender in the name of Jesus. Every confusion spirit will bind it right now, conspiracy. Father, Lord Jesus, arrest all their powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Lord. I take charge of this table right now in the name of Jesus. We bless you, Father. We worship you, Lord, Father, because you have done it in the name of Jesus. Father, take control. I worship you, Lord, for you are the Lord and never change. In the name of Jesus, Father, have your way. Lord Jesus, take control. In the mind of Jesus, Holy Spirit, in the Lord Jesus, arrest every territorial spirit wherever they are. In the mind of Jesus, oh Lord God, Father, Lord, take control, Lord Jesus. My Lord, my God, every power that is in the Son, O oh Lord, I want to walk against us right now. We bind them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy every forces of darkness. Power from my father family, from my mother family that have been waging war against me, O oh Lord, against my ministry, against my anointing, Father, I command them to be destroyed. Also, the hearer of this word, O Lord, every power, ancient ears, distractions, Father, will cast your spirit out right now in the name of Jesus. Take control, Father, and let your name alone be glorified today in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen and amen. Amen. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, the topic of today is sharing your faith. Why? We are on Bible studies, and uh, if you want to call, you, are, you can, if you want to contribute, you can call number, if you are calling from outside United Kingdom, plus 44-793-9284. Also, if you are calling within United Kingdom, it's 079-392-11885. You want to contribute to this very uh, study, Bible study. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, sharing your faith and why? You see, there are at least six compelling reasons for sharing our faith 
in Christ with those who have not experienced new life in Christ. There are about six or it may be more, but I was able to extract out or take a study of about six why we should share our faith. It is very necessary for us to tell people the area we are in life. Now that we are out from darkness, God has brought us, brought us into a very bright light. And uh, now we are follower of Christ. We are experiencing every good thing from him. So it is also good for us to let people know about Christ and what we are experiencing, how he's providing for us, how he's keeping us, how he's protecting us. Amen. Uh, number one, I say because God has commanded us to do so. Exactly. God asks us to do so. Say we should share our faith. We should tell others about Christ. Final word of Christ, oh, sorry, final word of Jesus Christ while he was on earth. Okay. Let us go to the book of Acts chapter, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. The final word of Jesus Christ. He said, um, final word of Jesus Christ. He said, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witness, both in Ju Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and when, sorry, and, and even to the remotest part of the world. Let me read my other Bible version. I think that's it. This is uh, like it's King James Version. I read it for us too. Why we should share our faith. Jesus Christ is telling us that we have to be a witness. Sharing your faith is like you being <clears throat> a witness. Um, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be a witness to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the world. Yes, that's one of the reasons. Because Jesus Christ said we are his witness. So we are to tell every other person, everybody, that haven't know about him. We have to tell them about Christ and we have to let them know what he can do, how he can save, how he can provide, how he can protect. That he came to this world to die for me and for every other person, to die for our household, to die for everybody in the whole world. So Jesus Christ said, we shall be a witness unto him. Hallelujah. And uh, also in Revelation chapter 22, verse 7. Revelation chapter 22, verse 7. Why we should share our faith in Christ. Jesus Christ said we should we are we shall be his witness. Hallelujah. 22 verse 7 says, Behold, is that it? Yeah. 27. 22 verse 7 says, Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is the blessed is he 
who keeps the word of the prophecy of this book. Amen. Another thing that Jesus Christ is making us to understand that is also him that spoke that word. He said he's coming quickly. Let me see it in another, another version too. He said, behold, I am coming quickly. That is, we should let people know about his coming. We shouldn't hide it from people. We shouldn't keep it. We shouldn't swallow it. Somebody that swallowed the word of God or that does not want other people to know, it's like you go, you eat your food one day, two days, three days. You refuse to use the loo. You refuse to use the toilet. Not that you refuse, the food refuses to come out. So also, that is how the word is too. Okay, another version of that word, he said, and behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who healed the word of the prophecy of this book, who keep the word of the prophecy of this book. Let us also go to the same uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 3. Let's see what it says there. Act 1, 3. It makes a similar reference to that. He <clears throat> said, to, to whom he also presented himself a life <clears throat> after his suffering by many unfallible proof by many by many infallible proof be seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God that is the apostles after the resurrection, after the death, he resurrected after three days. Then he was with the apostles for 40 days. That is even the, 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 the period that we are now. After the Easter, after the resurrection, Jesus Christ told the apostles to wait upon him in Jerusalem. And he said they shouldn't leave Jerusalem until they receive power, until they receive the Holy Spirit. Praise God. So he said they shouldn't move and they should wait for him that that will surely happen. And that is the power that we have today. The Holy Spirit is our guardian, is our protector, is the one that also reminds us of everything that we have learned about him. Is the Holy Spirit can also direct. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said we should wait for that very power. So that is one of another area that we need to let people know about Christ. Did it really happen? Yes, it happened. After he left, then in Acts chapter 2, the, the, the Holy Spirit, did the Holy Spirit now come upon the apostles as they were praying in the upper room? Praise God. And when the Holy Spirit came, all of them were speaking in different languages. Hallelujah. So sharing your faith why these are some of the reasons why you need to share your faith let them know that it is a mandate that jesus christ said we should be his witness hallelujah amen so number two he said it demonstrates our love for god christ said that if we truly love him, we will keep his commandment. Okay, he's one of the areas that Jesus Christ wants us to observe too, that if we really love him, 
We have to do these things. We have to be his witness. Hallelujah. Let us go to John. John chapter 14, verse 15. John 14, 15. Uh, just a minute. Okay, John 14, 15. He says, If you love me, you will keep my commandment. Hallelujah. If we love him, we have to let the unbelievers know. We have to let those that are still struggling in knowing Christ, we have to let him know or give them the testimony of what he has done in our life. Amen. He said, if we truly love him, we have to keep his commandment. Hallelujah. Another area is because all are lost, because many people are lost. I was once like that too, because before himself retrieved me back. Let us read Romans chapter three, verse 10 and 23. The book of Romans chapter three. Romans 3, verse 10. Amen. 3, verse 10 says, As it is written, there is none righteous, not evil one. Hallelujah. Let me read verse 11. There is no one who understands. There is, there is no one who seek for God. Praise God. Many people are not seeking for God himself because of the love that he first of all loved us. So he brought us back to himself. He make us to know him. He love us. He give us his love before he gave us the commandment. So my brothers and my sisters, we have to let people know how the way God loved us. Let us also read verse 20, 23. Verse 23 says, for all have sins and and fall short of the glory of God. Praise God. All of us are sinners before through Adam's, Adam and Eve. We are all sinners, but now thank God that God has given us his, uh, his mind. God has already told us who we are in Christ, he has brought us to himself. He has let us know that he loved us. Say all are sinners and cut short of the glory of God. It's only sin that can separate us from him. It's only God that put the bridge between we and Christ. Hallelujah. So we also let people know, those that haven't known him before, we have to let them know that it is only sin that cut off short of the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Then um, number, number four now, because all our sharing is God's choosing method to tell all people our sharing where we are communicating or we are telling God about Christ 
is how God wants us to do it by giving it, uh, sorry, by letting people know how Christ is in our life. Amen. He said he could have used angel, but, but he did not. Only relevant sinner can tell a uh, lost sinner about Christ. We as a sinner, as we have been saved, it's only we that can also tell other sinners. God can use anything. He can do many things to, to relate his message to other people that haven't known him. Praise God. He can do the advert by himself. Hallelujah. Praise God. So he can even use angel to do it, but he doesn't want to use it. He wants to use us that have already been delivered to reach other people that have not been delivered. Like our house now, people that are like our family, somebody that see you as a believer, what you were doing before, you are no more doing that. You have changed from your old man. You are now a new person. So they will now be seeing you. And even if they, did, if they are finding it difficult to see you or to talk to you, but they are seeing your character, that your, your character has changed. One of them may be pushed one day to say, oh, what is happening? You are no more doing what you were doing before. You are no more fornicating. You are no more drinking alcohol. You are no more smoking. Why? Then you can easily tell them and say, you are now a new person. You are now in Christ. You have accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. So those are some of the reasons why it is good for us to share our faith, to let people know who we are and how Christ has delivered us from our old life. Hallelujah. Let us now read Romans chapter 10, verse 14 to 17. Romans 10. Fourteen to seventeen says, "He say, how then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed?" Hallelujah! You can't call upon somebody that you did not believe, or somebody you did not know his name, or you did not know what he's doing, or you are not connected to that person. You cannot call upon him and say, "Come and help me." or come and deliver me, or I need help from you. So you have to first of all know Christ because you can, before you can pray that, oh Lord, come and save me, deliver me from my distress. Sharing your faith, why? So then I took, the, I will take that again. He said, how then shall we call upon him in whom, how then shall, shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? Hallelujah. And how shall they hear without a preacher? They have to hear, they have to hear of him, they have to hear through a preacher, and they have to hear they have to know, they not have to know him too. So we uh, sharing his word is making people to know him. Somebody may be in distress, somebody may be in trouble. If that person is your friend, or is it even your friend, friend, or your neighbor, when that person is in trouble, it's just for you to introduce. First of all, you can say, oh, can we pray? So by the time you say, oh, can we pray? He will ask you, are you a Christian? Or you can first of all ask the person, either a man or a woman, are you a Christian? Do you want me to pray? So first of all, you will introduce that, that uh, you introduce Christ to that very person and say, if you believe in Christ, 
or do you believe in Christ? He can say yes, he can say no. If you say no, you just lead the person to Christ and say, will you be happy to accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior? The person has to believe before he can receive from him, before he can call upon him, before he can ask of anything from Christ. He has to first of all believe. Verse 15, he said, and how shall they preach unless they are sent, just as it is written. Our beautiful, sorry, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring glad, 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 tidy to good things, sorry, of good things. I tell that again. He said, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring glad the tidings of good things. Amen. So verse 16, he said, um, however, they did not, however, they did not all heed the glad tidings. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? Praise God. Some people will hear it. They will not keep it. They, they will, some will hear it. They will keep it. But it is for we to say it to Christ. Sorry, to say to the people what Christ is doing in our life. You breathe in this air. You don't know how people are struggling to breathe. You eating by yourself. You don't know how people are struggling to be to, to, to feed themselves. They are, some are even waiting for them to be fed. Some are even waiting for them to for somebody to take them to the to the to the loo, to the toilet, or even to wash themselves. But you are doing thing, everything yourself. Praise God. Our God is too big, is too big. For us to hide, say sharing your faith, and why? Praise God. Uh, verse seventeen, it says, "So faith comes from hearing, and hearing by the word of God. If they did not hear, nobody will hear, will have the faith." He said, "Faith comes by hearing, by hearing." And hearing by the word of God. If anybody did not hear you, how would they trust you? How would they know what you are? If you have a business and you are doing any business, if they did not know of your business, how are they going to how are they going to work or how are they going to um, follow you? If you are selling anything, if you did not open your door, how would they know that such a thing is inside that shop? Or you, don't, you don't, yeah, I mean, you have something in your website. How, if you are not advertising it, how will they know what you are selling? Praise God. So through the hearing of the word of God, people will he hear that word, and they will now their faith will now grow. So that is some of the reason, or one of the reasons. Thereby, we have to share the word of God. We have to share our faith. Amen. So the, number five, he said, because God desire to save all people, because God desire to save everyone in, in the world today, he doesn't want us to perish. Let us read Acts chapter four, Acts chapter four, verse 12, Acts four, verse 12. Acts chapter 4, verse 12 says, uh, that's the name. 4, verse 12. He said, and there is, and there is salvation in no one else, 
for there is no other name under heaven that has been given unto men by which we must be saved. That is why we have to tell people about Jesus Christ. There is no other name under heaven in which we have to be saved. No other name is only through Christ. Hallelujah. He said uh, in, the, in the book of John that he is the, he's the way to the Father. No other, no other place. You cannot be walking in another city or another company and say you want to receive in another company. You have to follow the right channel. You have to follow the right link before you can receive from Christ. So if you are not in him, you can't be going to voodoo man and say God should come out. If you did not accept Jesus as your Lord and personal savior, you, you can't be querying God and say, why did God not help you? You have to tell the voodoo man, why did he not help you? You give money to the voodoo man to do something for you. And that thing is not uh, having a, 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 a bringing any light to your life or bringing any solution to your life. So is that voodoo man that you are going to ask? Praise God. Or like those people that are in a cultic uh, world. So they, 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 sold, they sold themselves to the occultic uh, kingdom or to that very altar. So when things are not going on well with them, they have to ask their very altar. So we that are in Christ, we have to let people know that it's only through Christ you can receive from him. That is when you accepted him as your Lord and personal savior. Let us see what is in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. He said, And she will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For it is he who will save his people from their sin. Hallelujah. That is when the angel of the Lord was describing uh, what is going to happen to Mary, to her, that is going to have a son, and the, same, his son, the name of the son shall be called Jesus. And it's this very name this very man that is going to save his people, save those that believe in him. Hallelujah. Let us also see um, another Acts act chapter 10, verse 43. Acts chapter 10, verse 43. Forty-three say, of whom all the prophets bear witness that through his name everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins. Everyone that believes in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to share to people, let people know, the unbelievers know that no matter how strong that sin may be that God Jesus Christ is able to forgive us if we come upon him he will, he will sorry if we come unto him he will cleanse us up praise God the book of Isaiah chapter 1 say he said we should come to him and let us reason together so when you go to Jesus you put up your matter to him you submit yourself completely to him Jesus Christ is there to hear you and to hear me. He's there to cleanse us up. Any sinner that you know that is having problem, just for us to share the word, the, our faith with him or her, and say, this thing that you are doing 
You may be thinking it is the right thing for you. No, it is not the right thing. The man that can cleanse you up more than, or whereby you, you, thereby you can experience something more better than what you are experiencing now in your life, the man is called Jesus Christ. So that is another area whereby we have to let people know why we have, I mean, that is the area why we have to share our faith with other people, with the unbelievers. Hallelujah. Let us also read Peter. Um, first Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. First Timothy 4. First Timothy 2, verse 4. Just a minute, please. First Timothy two, verse four. This bad boys. First Timothy, um, two verse four says, uh, "Who desire all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth." Hallelujah! Jesus Christ is the one that desire us all to be saved. He wants us to be saved. He don't want us to be destroyed. He don't want us to perish. Hallelujah. He wants us to be saved by going to the by going to heaven. He don't want us to be destroyed so that uh, we go to hellfire. No, that is not of Christ. We have to let people know of this too that when they come to him, they will be saved. Hallelujah. Let us see what is in Second Peter. I think I wrote Second Peter chapter three down. Second Peter chapter three, verse nine. He said, the Lord is not slow to anger. His promise has some kind um, slowness, but he is patient towards you, not wishing, okay, yes, that's where I'm going, not wishing for anyone to perish, but for all to be, for all to come to repentance. Hallelujah. Any man that killed yesterday, God can forgive that person today. As far as that person come with a very clean mind and say, oh, Lord, I have done this. Have mercy upon me. You follow the right channel. Accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. This verse 9 of the book of 2 Peter, he said God did not want anybody to perish. So we have to share our faith. Let them know that you that is doing this thing, you think that you are already condemned. No, you are not condemned yet. Nothing is happening to you, but only just come to Christ and confess all your sin to him. He will deliver you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So number six, he said, because someone else, sorry, some, someone who share his faith with, with us, it may have been a a faithful Bible teacher or a godly pastor or a praying parent. In other words, they have the right to, to share that which they have learned. Let us see 1 Corinthians 15, verse 3 to 4. 1 Corinthians 15. 
First Corinthians 15, verse 3 to 4. First Corinthians 15, 3 to 4 says, um, he said, for I deliver to you as of as of first importance, as of first importance, what I also receive that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Paul is the one that is writing this to the, telling the people of Corinth, of Corinth that he delivered to, to them exactly what he has also received. Okay, verse four, he said, and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day according to the scripture. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ died after three days, he resurrected. And that's exactly how it happened. Praise God. So we need to share our faith to unbelievers because there are million billions of people that are still in the world today that haven't known him. Even if you, before you go up to 10 houses from where you are, you will see even up to 20 people that haven't known Jesus or even more. So my brothers and my sisters, it is good for us to share our faith to the unbelievers. We have to share our faith to everyone, both our children, our, our neighbors, our friends, wherever they, even in our place of work, we have to know, I mean, we have to let people know about Christ and how powerful he is and how, the miracle that he works. Praise God. Your movement, you don't know how you even move yourself. You don't know how you even talk. You don't know what is happening to you when you want to eat. Praise God. So God is all in all in our life. He knows it all. And God will help us to do that in Jesus' name. Sharing your faith, it may look difficult for you, but you can start from somewhere. You can start with a little testimony or a little story that you can start with that little story that this is what Christ has done for you. From there, the person that you are speaking to may ask some questions. From there, you can go more deeper. Praise God. So we shouldn't hide our faith and we shouldn't run from it. It is an obligation for us to, to do that because God wants us to, Jesus Christ wants us to do that. Right from the, uh, the, the, the book of Acts, Chapter 1, verse 8, he said, we shall be his witness. Every part of the whole world, any part of the whole world, all the corners of the whole world, the four corners of the whole world, whether Pakistan, India, America, we shouldn't choose where we are to share the word of God. And we shouldn't let that fear stop us from doing that. And God will help us all through in Jesus' name. The power to do that, God will make it strong in our life in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, I pray this day, O Lord, the power to share your faith. Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, put it in us, O Lord, the power to share our faith, to share what we believe and what you have done for us. Father, let that power be with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, O Lord and let your name be glorified in our life. I commit to our brothers and sisters, those that have heard this word, O Lord, Jesus, glorify yourself in their life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Take us to control of them today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the power to be strong in you, Father, give it to them today, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless you, Father. I worship you, Lord. I give you thanks and I give you adorations. I thank you because you have done it for us. And I soak everyone, in the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, take control. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen.
Amen, amen in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you, our brothers and sisters. Shalom.